Oh yeah, so it's day, I don't even know, I think it's like day, uh, day two, three, I don't really remember, um, I think it's day three, but uh, basically whew, it's 36 degrees and um, I sanded back my um, cupboard that I had on my kitchen because oh, because I'm going because I actually decided that I'm going to keep with the white theme in the van the ceiling is going to be sanded um, one half of it is going to be sanded back to its original colour because I painted it just one light coat um, I don't particularly like every single thing to be white so um, I like a bit of the natural colour of the wood with just some gloss over it so I'm going to do those things white, the walls are still going to stay white the ceiling as I said is just going to be sanded back with the gloss on it and then um, there's so many cute little white butterflies everywhere in my garden they're like everywhere um, and I used 40 grit on my wood to get it back and then I used gloss and I'm going to put another coat on. Um, I'm just using this um, from B and Q. This uh, colours varnish. It's just um, clear but it's got like a slight white tinge to it so you can still see the wood but going with the theme to make sure that you still can breathe in your van and not be breathing in all the chemicals that you've just painted all over the place make sure you look out for this low you see that sign there where it says low if you see this sign and it is red or amber or like a dark orange or Sometimes I think I've even seen one in like a dark purple. If it doesn't say low, question getting it. Because if it doesn't say low VOCs, which is this, um, which is the vol what's it called vol volatile compounds, organic compounds in the um, products, you breathe that in. If you haven't seen my VOCs video, I will try to link that up here. If not, I will put it in the description. Um, do go over to it because you do want to make sure that the chemicals that you are breathing in are extremely low and they don't affect your breathing. Or if you have children, they don't give your children asthma and a few other things that are just you can get skin irritations as well. So if you've got sensitive skin, not best. And you're going to be spending a lot of time in there with everything heating up in this weather so using this because it was the one that had the lowest um chemicals in it and then let's go out to the garden so i um as i said i painted sanded down my wood um and it just looks like this i'll show you it's but I don't actually mind this. This I don't mind. Build it in the. Gonna colour that. And then I put um, some protector on it. And then these are gonna go here. This. Like that. And then, um, then I have a little padlock that will go there, which will cover up that section. So I'm just going to give it another gloss. See, so yeah, I'm just going to give it another gloss, and then I will see how it looks. Um, the varnish is not; it doesn't seem to leave much of a shine. I mean, I did sand it; it's so smooth because I sanded it to death. My hair's gone all frizzy. We, my uh, boyfriend and I are going to go to um, some parks that we have quite close to us that have um, boats and that to hire. So we're going to hire some boats later. Go and have a little stro stroll around 
um, in the rivers because it is bloody boiling. So yeah, I'm just going to get on with this and then I will, um, uh, oh and then I forgot to tell you as well, yesterday I also, um, I was going to get the same oven as the Indie project, which I love still, but I actually saw one that's identical, um, not the brand, but it's an identical brand, but the brand that it is, is a camper oven. Um, so it looks exactly the same, um, same oven, same little knobs for your stove, save, same for uh, stoves, etc. Um, but it's a camper and I've already got a camper, um, little portable camping stove which I sh I've shown you and um, I've also done a review video about that. I haven't used it yet so I couldn't go into more detail. Um, I will be going into more detail about my review of these products as I use them, including my drone, which I still need to use. I got it around the time when COVID started, so I haven't really had an opportunity to go out and uh, use it properly. Hi guys, so I am going to go and get my mattress, my... Uh, memory foam for my seats and someone put up on uh, Facebook that they have a leftover um, butane and LPG and some other basic like loads of um, leftover tanks refillable tanks um, so I said do you have an LPG one they said yes um, and now I said is it refillable they said yes so I'm gonna go get it It's like as much light as I can get in here I'm afraid because of the because of where I'm building basically so I whew, it's warm so I'm getting so close to being livable I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited it's ridiculous so as you can see down here here, there, if you can see it quickly there, is my LPG. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I've got my LPG gas canister refillable. There's no gas in it at the moment, so I've just put it there for now so it's secure-ish. Um, I've got my bed. Um, it is a it is a king size, so I'm hoping that when I chop it up it will maybe do some of the seat as well but who knows I could be wrong but anyway that's behind me as you can see it's taking up more than half of the van <laughs> so I'm so glad I decided not to have a bed that came out this way and um, yeah, the van is actually looking 